All right, welcome back everybody. All right, so my name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University majoring in computer science. But enough about me, let's get into this. All right, so in today's live demo, we're gonna be going over events. So first, I'm gonna demonstrate you guys like the ones that don't include the sensors. And then after, after I'm gonna show you guys all the sensor ones. You know, sorry, sadly, I'm not gonna show you guys the gyro sensor because I don't have a gyro sensor, but I'm gonna show you guys all the other sensors and I'm gonna try to give you guys the best demo that I can. All right. So let's get this. Let's get started with this. All right. So the very basic one that we pretty much always use is when program starts. So right here, the program that we're gonna be running is gonna be the same through all of them. So all this does is just it sets the motors to third percent of speed. It says A and C, and then as well, it it goes forward for two seconds. That's all this program is gonna do, just for demo purposes. So all right. So I'm gonna start it, and you guys should be able to see it. It just goes forward for two seconds. That's all it does. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing that's it. As soon as I click start and upload, it's just gonna start the program. However, there might be times when you don't wanna do that. Sometimes you might want to be like, okay, after 10 seconds. So I'm gonna start it, let's start it, actually let's start it at 10 seconds, you know? So that we could just, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so you guys saw, it did it. I probably counted a little bit too fast, but you know, it did it at the 10 seconds and then the program ran and then that's it. So that's pretty much it for that one. And then, so and then we have the when. So this one does, so this one's like when the statement is true. So for example, we go to one of our operators, we could go or to one of our sensors. We could use technically any, any of these. So we could use Let's say this one, when it's pressed, you know? So obviously we need to choose what port, it's in port one. So we're gonna go on that. So I'm gonna upload it again, and I'm gonna show you guys again. So I hope you guys can see the touch sensor right here. So I'm gonna upload it. You guys see nothing, but as soon as I press it, it starts to run. You see, pretty cool, right? So, so you have, you have a lot of options. Obviously this is just one of them, but you could use one of your operators. You could just like, and like if they're both true, just stuff like that. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So now let's go back and see the other ones. So now we're gonna use, see what sensor should I show you guys? All right, so obviously I already showed you guys a touch sensor. It's pretty much the same concept. So, for example, I'm gonna show you guys again. It's not gonna do anything until I press on it. Then it's gonna start to move. And then we have the option of when released. So this one, this one's a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna upload it. Okay, and then I'm gonna disconnect it. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna show it to you guys. Okay, so right now I'm holding it. Then I'll start it. So as you guys see, nothing is happening because I'm holding it. But as soon as I release it, pretty cool, right? All right. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna go based. We're gonna use the distance sensor. So before you do, you actually run it and anything. Please make sure that you actually have it connected on the right port. So this one is port four, but we're actually in port two. It shows you, it shows us right here on top, it shows you us what port we're in and everything, you know? So port two, and then we want it to be less than 15, let's say less than 15, let's say less than six inches. All right. So I'm gonna upload it. Nothing's happening right now because there is nothing in there. So I'm gonna put it on the floor. And then I'm gonna switch cameras for you guys. And then, so as you guys can see, the sensor is right here. So technically it's facing the wall, but as soon as I click something, really cool, right? So that's all it kind of is, you know? So it allows you so that like, obviously I could change it and be like, okay, when it's greater than, when it's exactly, and then change more than, you know, I could change the centimeters, I could change the distance, but it's the, it's essentially the same concept. If you know one concept, you know the rest of them, you know? So it's the same thing. It's just now now you're looking for different conditions, but it's overall, it's pretty much the same thing. Me going through all of them, that's not really gonna change the difference because they're all pretty much the same. 
So now we're gonna do, so we did, and then, oh, now we're gonna do the color sensor. So the color sensor is pretty interesting in my mind because like it defines the color. So since I only have the color blue, we're gonna be looking for the color blue. So we're gonna go to blue. Where's blue? And then, so as you guys can see, the color sensor port four. So right now it's in three, and then it goes to four. And then, if I play it, nothing's gonna happen until I'll put it on the floor. And I'm gonna switch cameras for you guys. And then, as soon as I put it on the on the mat, it's gonna start going. Yes, saw? Pretty cool. So. You guys saw that, like as soon as it, as it recognized the blue, it started going. And same goes for all the other colors, when it's white, when it's black, you know? So, you know, sometimes you might be going and you might be like, okay, if, if the floor isn't black, I don't want you to go. If the floor isn't white, I don't want you to go. So that could be very useful in many senses. As well, you have the option to go the, to use the buttons. So when you run the program, it kind of like locks the screen and you kind of can't click on anything else except the back button. But now, for example, I'm like, okay, I want to click the left one, you know, and then I want the program to run. So now I'm going to upload it again. If the cord recognizes it. All right, sorry for the technical issues. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna upload it. So as you guys saw, I didn't do anything. I'm gonna show you guys on the screen. So as soon as I press the left, it went. Pretty cool, right? So same goes for all the other buttons. You have, you have the option to do all the buttons if you really want to. So you pretty much really have no limits when it comes to them. So you can click the center, you click the left, the down, the no, the everything, everything, you know? So think about it as that. So this is actually really powerful in many senses. So because you don't, you, you kind of sometimes will get like, okay, I want to press on it and then go, you know? I don't want it to read a sensor. I don't want it nothing. I want it, as soon as I press it, I want it to go. And that could be really powerful at times because sometimes you don't want it to go exactly. When it starts, you want to be able to press on it and then go. Because as you guys seen in the previous demos, like I just used the, the one where the program starts and then it's just running and then I have to disconnect it and then upload it. So doing that, it removes that all of the hassle. And then, all right, so obviously like when the receive message and all those, we're not gonna go over those, but all of these is it exactly, because all of this is exactly the same. You might be like, why are you not going over them? It's because they're, they're, they're the same thing. They're the same concept, you know? So I really hope that all of this was really useful I know that it was just kind of quick and kind of short, but just it was, this is kind of just to give you guys kind of a little idea of how it works, not really to show you guys a very large program. It's kind of just to give you guys a little demo of how it works and how it could be done. So I hope you guys really enjoy this and that you guys learned something really cool because robotics is fun and programming is fun, you know? This, this is just a little snip of it. When you guys get to like the actual like coding, like in Java, in Python, in C++, that's where it gets fun, you know? So I hope that you guys really enjoy this and that you guys have fun. All right, bye.